Have you ever pondered over the roots of Pakistan's rich history? Our tale commences over 4,000 years ago with the Indus Valley Civilization, a beacon among the world's earliest urban societies. Imagine cities like Mohenjo-Daro, where the streets hummed with life, reflecting exceptional urban planning and advanced social systems. These ancient metropolises were the cradle of innovative ideas, setting the stage for a cultural evolution. Thus, the foundation was laid for the cultural tapestry that would become Pakistan. As time rolled on, the region saw the influx of new cultures and ruling powers. The Aryans, a group of Indo-European tribes, migrated to the region around 1500 BCE. They introduced the Vedic culture, which significantly influenced the social and religious practices of the region. However, the landscape of the subcontinent was truly transformed with the rise of the Maurya Empire in the late 4th century BCE. Founded by Chandragupta Maurya, this empire was one of the most extensive in ancient India. His grandson Ashoka further expanded the empire and is renowned for his governance, which was marked by tolerance and non-violence. Under Ashoka's rule, the empire flourished in all aspects, from architecture to administration. His edicts carved on rocks and pillars throughout the empire reflect his dedication towards the moral and spiritual upliftment of his subjects. These periods left an indelible mark on the subcontinent, shaping its future trajectory. The cultural and political structures introduced during these times continue to influence the region's identity to this day. In the 7th century, a new era dawned with the arrival of Islam. This period witnessed the rise of powerful Islamic empires, most notably the Delhi Sultanate and the Mughal Empire, both of which left lasting imprints on the region. The Delhi Sultanate, established in the 13th century, introduced a sophisticated system of governance, blending Persian and Indian administrative traditions. This era also saw the flourishing of Islamic art and architecture, as evidenced by the intricate designs and awe-inspiring structures that still stand today. The Mughal Empire, founded in the early 16th century, further enriched the cultural tapestry of the region. Under the enlightened rule of emperors like Akbar and Shah Jahan, the empire fostered a golden age of innovation in art, architecture, and governance. The Taj Mahal, a testament to Mughal architectural brilliance, remains an iconic symbol of this period. Under these empires, the region flourished, creating a distinct cultural identity. The winds of change blew again in the 19th century with the advent of the British East India Company. The company's dominance soon evolved into the British Raj, transforming the political, economic, and social fabric of the region. The era was not without resistance, though, as the seeds of independence began to sprout. The struggle for freedom, led by stalwarts like Allama Iqbal and Muhammad Ali Jinnah, was gaining momentum. This period marked the beginning of a new chapter in the history of what would soon become Pakistan. 1947, a year of triumph and tragedy. The land that is now Pakistan emerged from the shadow of British India, standing tall as an independent state. This hard-won sovereignty, however, came at a cost. The partition of British India was a time of immense upheaval, marked by communal tensions and mass migrations, as millions sought new homes across hastily drawn borders. Amid the chaos, there was hope. The birth of a new nation was both joyous and tumultuous. The dawn of independence brought with it a myriad of challenges. As Pakistan stepped into the world stage, it grappled with the complexities of nation building. One of the most pressing issues was the territorial dispute with India over the scenic yet strategically significant region of Kashmir. This contention ignited several conflicts, testing the resolve of the nascent state. In these formative years, leaders emerged who would shape the country's destiny. Liaquat Ali Khan, Pakistan's first prime minister, played a pivotal role in establishing the country's political infrastructure. He was instrumental in drafting the Objectives Resolution, which laid the groundwork for Pakistan's constitution. Then there was Ayub Khan, Pakistan's first military dictator, who ushered in a period of industrial growth and modernization. However, his era was also marked by political unrest and growing demands for democracy. These trials and tribulations shaped the young nation, forging its character. The early years were a crucible, tempering Pakistan's spirit, preparing it for the challenges and triumphs that lay ahead. The year 1971 marked a significant chapter in the history of the region. East Pakistan, dissatisfied with the political and economic disparities, aspired for independence. This led to the Bangladesh Liberation War, a nine-month-long conflict that culminated in the birth of Bangladesh. This war, 
marked by profound human loss and struggle, was a pivotal moment in South Asian history. This period was a testament to the region's resilience and its quest for self-determination. The late 20th century brought forth another era of change. It was the Zia era, a time of marked political and social shifts. But it wasn't just internal affairs that were transforming. The Afghan war was raging and Pakistan found itself in a pivotal position. The country became a significant player, influencing the course of this conflict. This involvement in the Afghan war had far-reaching implications, not just regionally, but globally. This period redefined the nation's geopolitical dynamics. As the 21st century dawned, Pakistan embarked on a journey back to democracy. The winds of change were blowing, giving rise to democratic movements that were to shape the nation's future. Leaders like Benazir Bhutto and Nawaz Sharif emerged, championing the cause of democracy and leaving their unique imprints on the political landscape. Their contributions, often marked by personal sacrifice and relentless determination, breathed new life into the democratic fabric of the nation. The return to democracy marked a new chapter in the nation's history. Today, Pakistan stands at the crossroads of challenges and progress. As a young nation with an ancient history, it grapples with economic uncertainties, political complexities, and social transformations. Yet, amid these trials, the spirit of progress remains undaunted. In fields as diverse as technology, sports, and culture, Pakistan is making its mark. Homegrown tech startups are revolutionizing the digital landscape, while Pakistani athletes are bringing laurels on international platforms. The vibrant art scene, with its fusion of traditional and contemporary forms, continues to capture global attention. Amidst all this, the nation is also striving to preserve its rich cultural heritage, even as it embraces the winds of change. But perhaps the most significant progress is seen in the resilience and determination of its people, who continue to shape the nation's future against all odds. Through all its trials and triumphs, the cultural richness and resilience of Pakistan remains at the heart of